Now, uh, in chapter eight of political treaties by Baruch Spinoza, Baruch spends, Baruch spends uh, quite some time trying to explain how to make an aristocracy work. Um, he does say the things that need to be, to be done so that an, an aristocracy can perform um, optimally. So one, he says, there should be a high number of uh, aristocrats because he says the fewer you have, then the likelihood of turmoil because there's going to be push and pull and like the likelihood of one person emerging and becoming a monarch, basically. So, and also he says the smaller number you have, some people are going, uh, naturally some people are smarter than others and the smarter ones know how to manage those, the others. And he says, but if you make the number so big, then you increase the chances of, you will still, even when some people are smarter than others, you still have, you're still going to have a number of smarter people that is kind of bigger and that now removes the likelihood of, uh, of one person emerging and becoming a monarch. And he also says this number needs to be increased proportionally to the population growth. He talks about that. Now, another thing it, he says uh, is uh, making it possible that every citizen feels that they have a shot at becoming a patrician or a member of the aristocratic government, even though in practical terms they might not, but they should be made to believe that um, I have a chance, like in today's society where somebody, in practical terms, you might never even come close to being a president, but you have that feeling like I'm a citizen. And if everything falls in place, then I have a chance of being a president. I guess the same thing Baruch says should be done when it comes to being a patrician. Everybody should feel like they have a shot. And that kind of like puts the dominion to, or makes the dominion to be more stable. Um, he also says, uh, patricians should be incentivized to attend council meetings uh, because if they don't, then they neglect the affairs of the state and then the state disintegrates. And in fact, he says one, one way that can be done is by fining them when they don't attend, especially if they are not sick or they don't have any reason why they shouldn't attend. In fact, in the chapter, he does talk about how these people, and, and for the most part, like he says, they shouldn't be paid. Uh, they should just serve uh, like that. Uh, some which I found to be like maybe maybe that might be make them not commit as much but maybe because they are being punished if they don't attend then that might make them uh, attend so yeah it does talk about different ways to make uh, an aristocracy it, it really goes into the detail to explain how an aristocracy can be made to be a really good government that works for people and is stable and provides security and prosperity